Hello, today we're going to show how to refurbish the prime print material unit. Refurbish is the process where you replace the clear plastic foil that's at the bottom of the material unit. Why would you need to do this? Well, after hundreds and hundreds of print jobs, the prime print will instruct you to check the integrity of that foil. If it has been damaged or worn out at all, you'll need to change it. For instructions on how to do that, please consult the prime print companion or you can get the step-by-step -step instructions from the prime print itself. We'll show that in a moment. This process of changing the material unit's foil is called refurbishing. So once you have uh, changed the foil, we have to put a cartridge back in and we're going to put the material unit with cartridge into our prime print. Close the latch and the door. Once it's finished referencing, it's going to display the information that it has. It will still think that the um, previous foil is inserted. So we'll need to reset that. How to reset it? It's quite an easy process. We're going to click on the material unit itself. Note that it still has the previous data, 97% lifetime remaining. But I want to show how to refurbish. I'll click the refurbish button. It's reminding me, please confirm that the vat has been manually refurbished. I click confirm. It has been reset. Note that now we see 100% lifetime remaining. And material vat has reset to, to, uh, to believe that there is 0% resin in the vat itself, only what's in the cartridge. For those instructions I mentioned of how to do this cleaning process properly, you can click on this question mark next to refurbish and we'll go through those steps as well to remind you how to do it. Now that the material vat has been refurbished, the prime print is ready to print.